We will start in Lagos, Nigeria's commercial nerve center, which has continued to champion innovative ideas in governance and business. In one of such steps, the state government unveiled a set of technology-driven modular classrooms with new designs. Governor Babajide Sawolu inaugurated the nine classroom blocks built to replace dilapidated concrete structures at Betland Junior Grammar School in Agege. The interactive modular classrooms were improvised using standardized reusable freight compartments known as container. Before we go into this, this discussion, let's share the story with you. It's the third pillar of Babajide Sawolu's themes agenda at play, education and technology. This is another milestone intervention in the ongoing transformation of the education sector in Lagos State. The governor says integrating technology into teaching and learning is what the new Wetland Junior Grammar School represents. It is the future of public schools in Lagos State. It's made up of nine regular classrooms, three laboratories and four staff rooms. All of these space are powered by solar panel. So like they said, this whole structure is completely off grid. We don't want any NEPA failure or any power failure. All the classrooms I'm told are equipped with interactive touch screen. And all the students have been given an electronic tablet to aid their learning, both in school and also virtual learning. Built with containers, the Special Committee on Rehabilitation of Public Schools, headed by Hakim Smith, was initiated to comprehensively address the extensive dilapidation of physical infrastructure in public schools. We are talking about the green initiative for us to see that truly we can use some items that we've heard that are no longer useful. And the containers are quite durable and strong. They could actually last 50 years. We have uh, EPS, uh, expanded the polystyrene materials that are already embedded on the containers and now finished with plasterboard, so are quite conducive. We didn't have all this equipment before. We believe that we, we can use this to, to have a better learning experience. The committee's focus includes the construction of new classroom blocks where there are shortfalls, rehabilitation of old, dilapidated and abandoned ones, construction of new schools in communities where none existed, and provision of students, teachers and principals, furniture, and other relevant initiatives. Michael Shegun Ayola. Also, 13 teachers and administrators of public schools in the state emerged winners of Outstanding Teachers of the Year Award by the state government. The teachers went home with brand new cars. This is a proof that no efforts is gone, will go unnoticed. We appreciate him for this, and I'm sure this is going to boost the morale of more teachers. This is a token of the governor's appreciation for our work well done. Adi Doja, Salama Adeniyi, TVC News, Lagos. All right, gentlemen, quite impressive, I must say, um, especially having to see Lagos State governments bring technology advancement into the education system. But for you, how would this impact education in this state, especially in a place like Agege? Yeah, um, I think I, I must congratulate uh, the 60, uh, 620 uh, pupils uh, who are beneficiaries of this um, initiative. Uh, initial, uh, scheme. Uh, fantastic. I mean, you should, I've been to Vetland before, very close to the Abatio. As I mean, when you leave um, uh, Penn Cinema going towards um, Abatio, Okoba, that's where Vetland is. So, I mean, dilapidated. Um, buildings oh, and you can see the innovation of uh, uh, bringing uh, <laughs> what we now what we call containers 40 foot uh, containers uh, uh, structure a, a classroom that where you have I mean online real-time uh, learning um, uh, equipment there so uh, it is a very good initiative and uh, like the governor said there I mean <laughs> it doesn't depend on um, uh, electricity. I mean, they are being powered by I solar uh, panels and uh, the teaching equipment they have there are so interactive as, as you could see. In, I mean, they are all touch screen and uh, the students can also connect uh, from their own uh, tabs with what the teacher is saying, uh, teaching them even when they get home. So it's a very good initiative and you can see that people who spoke on behalf of the students and see the quality of the English uh, 
school, and, and that's a public school, not private schools where people pay millions. And are they, I mean, they, they do, what, what do they get? So the, uh, the morale boosting uh, fact for, for me is that, I mean, we can actually have public schools that can compete with uh, uh, the private, private schools. schools now. All right, Eko, for you, how admirable is this? And again, let's talk about maintenance culture. How do you expect the government to maintain this, this brilliant initiative? Well, um, I think I have an idea of a company that delivered the assets for this um, initiative. I think I know the CEO, and um, he's a brilliant person, and um, he's a stickler for high performance. And I like to think that if they sort of find a way to engage while this continues, I think we may be able to maintain, sustain this uh, smart school, if you like. You know, I'm impressed. Exactly. I am really impressed. And I hope we can have more of this. It is supposed to be a model school now. And then, just like Monjiz has observed, this is a public school. You know, this is a public school, and um, we must commend the government, the governor, and then the government of Lagos State. And then we can only encourage them to continue because I would like to refer to something that happened in the state of Oshun called Opoimo, which unfortunately has become something like history now. And uh, I hope we can migrate this to all the schools, not just the model schools, all the schools. Because like I keep saying, I was talking to somebody yesterday, the world is flat now. Whether you are physically in Lagos, you are actually competing with people in New York, in yeah. London, everywhere. So we have to have global standards in everything that we do so that we can function uh, in the 21st century, the digital economy of the 21st century. All right, Majid, some teachers got SUVs for performing brilliantly. It looks like um, their rewards are no longer in heaven. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think 13 teachers, yes. actually. This initiative actually started about three years ago. We had to give two teachers from each of the six educational divisions. Well, that's six educational divisions. Two, two per division, uh, making 12. So the 13 teacher this year from the special needs and so, um, so that makes that fantastic in the SUV I mean those SUVs can be less than 30 million absolutely so it's I mean you can hear the uh, um, the woman the, 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 the one of the beneficiary who said it's more boosting because you got there I mean driving an SUV home as a teacher I mean comes uh, a big, a big babe. I mean, so to say. Uh, so kudos to the governor. Uh, but then I, I pray that this continues. And this kind of model school. I mean, I want to see it in each of those six education divisions in the state, so that it don't just end at uh, Etland. Uh, so uh, kudos to uh, Governor Baba Julius, who is, I mean, revolutionizing education in Lagos. I mean, there's also this Equexel initiative too. Yes where about uh, 420,000 pupils have tabs now, the views. I mean, you walk also, with. Yeah, so it's, it's, um, it's extending it to the secondary school. Because the the Equexel is for the uh, primary and junior schools. So this one is being extended to uh, the uh, higher schools now. That's commendable. 